A man trying to come home to Boston is stopped at customs with a suitcase full of weapons and other dangerous items. Hi, everybody. Maria Stefano. And I'm Mark Ockholm. Now, there are questions about why the U.S. naturalized citizen from China was trying to bring those weapons here to Boston. Fox 20 by Crystal Haynes is here now with the story at 6.30. Crystal? Well, Mark and Maria, this man's lawyer tells me they're not going to talk motive because Harris has pled the fifth. But tonight, you'll get to see what was inside of that suitcase of weapons. He had a cache of weapons like you wouldn't believe everything from a smoke grenade to knives leg irons to a gas mask 28 year old boston native young to huang harris caught at lax with a suitcase full of these items raising lots of questions as to his motive and mental state for answers i spoke with chris williams in california spokesman for harris's attorney stephen sidon who says harris has pled the fifth on sidon's advice and he's not a felon he has no criminal background and he's not a terrorist Harris has been charged with one count of transporting hazardous materials arraigned on Tuesday. And while officials and his lawyers don't believe Harris is linked to any terrorist organization, director for the Center of Security Research and Technologies at UMass Lowell, Dr. James Forrest, told us. It fits the profile of the kind of individual that several terrorist groups are trying to recruit. Several terrorist groups are trying to recruit individuals with high levels of education, with clean records, who can safely go through the security measures at airports and so forth uh, in order to test those measures to see what kind of profiling might be going on. Williams tells me Harris is highly educated and was planning on starting a graduate degree. He recently started living and working in Japan, but officials have not said in what field. His family here in Boston also not commenting on the case. It's alarming uh, in the sense that an individual could be testing the security procedures at an airport, trying to see what uh, could be gotten through the security measures, um, but it's also a, a, an unusual indication of someone's mindset. And Harris is due back in court in California on Friday. I'm Crystal Haynes, Fox 25 News. Crystal, thank you.